Okay, it's the great and glorious and be famous one day, Nick Dutch here yet again. I'm just having a quick look at Wikipedia and it's uh, on the subject of remote viewing. Now, um, something which kind of grabbed my attention and basically uh, made me, I guess, think about the kind of things which are being discussed with reference to the supernatural. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I haven't had a, a haircut again, but never mind. <laughs> Alright, let's just focus on what this um, little excerpt says. The wording says, and it's by uh, Richard Wiseman, who's, um, according to Wikipedia, a psychologist at the University of Hertfordshire and a fellow of the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry, also called the CSI, has said that he agrees remote viewing has been proven using the normal standards of science. Important, okay? remote viewing has been proven using the normal standards of science. But then he's saying that the bar of evidence needs, needs to be much higher for outlandish claims that will revolutionize the world. And thus he remains unconvinced. Well, that's what Wikipedia says. I'll go on to his quote in just a second. This really got to me somehow because he's looking at a phenomena which if it happens in the natural world we would have to consider to be a, a natural phenomena not something too over the top, it's a natural phenomena and it has been proven using the normal standards of science so you know where's the problem, where's the issue why would the bar of evidence need to be raised at all it says here for outlandish claims then, you know, you've got to have a good idea as to what an outlandish claim is before you can make the presupposition that something is an outlandish claim. There isn't all that much of uh, explanation of that here. There's not all of that much in the way of definition of what it is that makes an outlandish claim. Um, but then he's talk it talks about an outlandish claim that revolutionizes the world. All right, now this is the full quote from Professor Richard Wiseman, which was, according to Wikipedia, uh, published in the Daily Mail newspaper on January the 28th of 2008, pages 28 and 29. I agree that by the standards of any other area of science that remote viewing is proven, but begs the question, do we need a higher standard of scientific evidence when we study the paranormal? I think we do. If I said that a UFO had just landed, you probably want a lot more evidence because remote viewing is such an outlandish claim that will revolutionize the world. We need overwhelming evidence before we draw any conclusions. Right now, we don't have that evidence. It's good that a, a fellow of the Committee for Skeptical Inquiry has agreed that remote viewing is proven by the standards of science. But why would he then say, this begs the question, do we need a higher standards of evidence when we study the paranormal, rather than saying, let's try and find out what factors seems to have caused this phenomena? That upsets me. Then he goes on to a different argument talking about UFOs. And the words are, if I said that's a UFO, well hang on a minute, we're not talking about if you said that a UFO had just landed. What we're saying is, can you prove using scientific means that a U UFO has landed? To which this guy, uh, Professor Wiseman, you know, he, he's not saying that. He's saying, if I just said that a UFO had just landed, you'd probably want a lot more evidence. No, I wouldn't want a lot more evidence. I would want sufficient evidence within the scientific realm to be able to demonstrate that the UFO had just landed. And the experiments that you're talking about have proven that remote viewing is real. So I think there's something wrong with that argument. Now, if you disagree with me, tell me, you know, just leave comments and all the rest. Then he goes on to say, I mean, this is, this is, this is interesting because an experiment has been done which has proven that remote viewing is proven by the standards of science. Not just by the standards of someone like me, but by the standards of science. And then he says, because remote viewing is such an outlandish claim, what is... Can it be an outlandish claim if it's been proven by the methodologies of science? 
No, it's, it's a natural phenomenon that's been proven by the methodologies of science. So it's not an outlandish claims. It's presumably the models of the world that people use who have beliefs which are outlandish. It appears to me that there is a certain section of the scientific community who even if they are given concrete scientific evidence would try and raise the bar. Now if I was to raise the bar of evidence for uh, a medical test or an engineering uh, model of the world or would we ever get anything built? Would we ever cure any diseases? No, probably not. So, you know, what is this guy really saying? He's essentially trying to do a form of censorship. And I, I reckon that can't be regarded as being right. Because, you know, his own words, I agree that by the standards of any other area of science, that remote viewing is proven. And then he, he says, do we need higher standards of evidence when we study the paranormal? Surely it is natural, but just poorly researched. Anyway, just something to uh, think about today.